Hi guys, Flying Fish here, and welcome back to some more Dokkan Battle. We have finally the Extreme Z area for our boy Prime Battle LR Vegeta. Now, this is one of the Prime Battle LRs, so you will need to bring a specific number of characters here, or a specific group of characters. Those being the free-to-play Tarble, Super Saiyan 3, Buu Saga Goku, Prime Battle Krillin, Yardrak Goku, uh, Namek, um, Spaceship Goku, Training Goku, I don't know, and uh, Kaba. It's kind of a weird cast of characters. Uh, you'll need to have all of these fully done, Extreme Z Awakened, Rainbowed, all of the stuff. Except for Krillin, who just needs to be just Rainbowed because he has no Easy A yet. And, um... Yeah, it shows you all the events you need to do right here. Uh, it's only one stage, just this Prime Battle Easy A. And Vegeta is... Uh, he. I'll, I'll talk about Vegeta later, but for now, let's just jump right into this and see what we have to work with here. So... Okay, so it looks like Goku might be the best leader. So let me just put together a team really quick. Um, wait... Um, are you... Huh. Well, it's not showing me only the characters I can use, which is weird. I don't know what that's about, so... Guess we have to do this the annoying way. That is very weird. I don't know why it's like this. I mean, where the heck is... Where's Super Saiyan 3 Goku? Wait, what the... He... Oh, I, I don't have him rainbowed. Oh, that's a... That's what's wrong. Okay. All right, sorry, <laughs> let me just do this really quick. All right, there we are. So it looks like Goku probably will be the best leader for this team. I don't think anyone else has a really runnable leader skill here, a bond of master and disciple. Uh, all right then, I guess this is just, this is, so we'll, we'll just jump in. We're gonna jump in with this. And I'm not, I'm not quite sure how difficult this is gonna be for us. Uh, the one thing is, at least everyone will be using the same team here, so... Uh, if I do this easily, then everyone else should be able to as well. It's the exact same team. Uh, ooh. We might just one-shot him right here. <laughs> Mike Grillin's full level 10 links, even though he's only got one link active, but... Uh, let's see, let's see, can Vegeta lift this? He's do he does have the full 10 health bars. Oh, we're getting super attack. Okay, how much is this gonna do? Uh, will Vegeta do anything right here? Let's see... He hurt a little bit. <laughs> maybe, maybe if I was type disadvantaged there, that would hurt. Oh, he does have a bit of health, actually. So, yeah, I don't think we're gonna one-turn him, actually. Hmm. Well, hey, that's how it is with these LR Extreme Z areas. They are not... They're not the complete pushovers that every other Extreme Z area is. I mean, this is still easy. This, this is too... <laughs> This is still really, really easy, but... Uh, okay, this should be it. He should be done here. And just one more. Oh, yep, additional. Okay, we're done. Bop, 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 bop. <laughs> there we are. Vegeta's done. Oh, and we're getting some link levels too. That's right, yeah. Really good link levels here. What is the stage? Like, 25 stamina? Yeah, you can get... Some, you'll, you'll be able to get some good link levels for your characters as well. So, very, very good. Um, all right. So, I believe you're gonna need 45 medals to get him fully Extreme Z Awakened. So, you have to play this a whole, whole lot of times. Um, you can get the bonus drop, I believe. So, if you get that, that'll speed up the whole process. But, otherwise, it's gonna be a while. I mean, there's not much in the game to do right now. There's, like, the Cell Max and Gohan, so... Yeah. Just get this done sooner rather than later before the <laughs> Goku and Cooler celebration starts, because that's going to be very, very... It's going to be a lot going on then, so... <laughs> Alright, uh, let's talk about this Vegeta right now. So, Vegeta. Uh, from what I heard, this is one of the Extreme Z Awakenings that could have been a lot better. So, let's let's take a look at him. So, Leader Skill... Pierce and category key for all stats 130%. That's um that's actually a pretty good leader skill if we're talking about like free to play characters and stuff and you know this Vegeta could help out in a lot of these like stages that need like event drop characters because this is this is a really really solid leader skill. Especially with the category it's leading. 
Now, passive skill. Attack plus 50% and defense plus 70%. Plus an additional defense plus 70% when HP is 50% or more. Key plus 1 with each attack performed up to plus 5. Plus an additional attack plus 50% and launches 2 additional attacks. Each of which has a rare chance of becoming a super attack for 4 turns after receiving an attack. Okay, and then... On his 12 key, he raises attack and defense for one turn, causes colossal damage to the enemy. And on his 18 key, he greatly raises attack and defense for one turn, causes mega colossal damage. Alright, I think his super attack effects are really, really good. I like that he has built-in additionals. Oh, but they're not... No, they are a rare chance of being a super attack. Okay, so... The fact that he gets this after he needs to get hit first is very- it hurts him, literally, I know. But, like, attack, and, attack 50%, defense 70%, an additional 70% defense when HP is 50% or more, that's not, like, on super attacks, that's just a normal uh, defensive buff, and then another attack 50%, like, I don't know, I- I-, I he's fine? Okay, if you- you could get lucky with this guy. And if he does, like, say you get, like, the 18 key super, and then, you know, two additional super attacks, or three additional super attacks, like two from the passive, one from the hidden potential system, this guy could really, really show out, doing some really good damage, and having really good defense as well, I feel like, but, you know, that's, that's not gonna be all the time. In many situations, this guy, he's probably just gonna do like one super attack and then two normals. Ah, uh, I don't know. What they, what they should have given this guy, he just needs more. He's just another case of these Extreme Z Awakened characters who need more. Like, give him like guard for the first five turns or something. Even damage reduction or defense on super attack. Um, anything like that would have been really good for this guy, but I don't know, he just... He's average, I guess. Just, um, it's just not enough. I don't, I, no, I, I don't think they did enough for him. This is like, because you're not going to run him in the red zone. You're not going to run him in super bad world unless it's like literally like one of the first 10 stages or something. You're not going to run this guy against Cell Max. Well, I mean, the last phase is tech. I guess if you have... Like, maybe he could work against Cell Max? By the time you get there, he'll probably be, like, fully, like, built up of his key. And he'll have his, he'll have his, like, additional attack and launch his super attacks active, because he's definitely getting hit in the physical stage. So, I mean, like, maybe if you have no other option, I'm, <laughs> that actually has me curious. This guy could be run against Cell Max, uh, with enough luck as, like, a seventh slot unit. Assuming you get a super attack or two off with him, I feel like he could take normal attacks. However, if this guy gets super attacked, you're, that's just death, but <laughs> that's like 90% of the game, and maybe even 95% of the game ex against Cell Max, so... Yeah, I don't know. I, I still think he should have been better, but I mean... <laughs> you could try him against Cell Max if you want. Like, maybe with the Int Majin Vegeta team, possibly. But yeah, I don't know. Um, he's alright, but he, he should have been better. But get him done anyway, because um, I have a, a strong suspicion that you're going to need this guy fully done for a tech cells, a prime battle cells easy A. So yeah, and they, if they require... So the reason why, um, if you guys remember why a prime battle Frieza was so insane... Uh, let me just find him. Was he out right now? Oh, here he is, here he is. So the reason why this, uh, Prime Battle Frieza was just so monstrous when he first came out is because these, these were the characters you required for him. So, like, pretty normal free-to-play, uh, easy A characters. But what made him, what I think actually made him so busted is this guy. You needed Prime Battle Goku fully Extreme Z Awakened and done, which, it, which is more involved than what you might actually think. Because for Goku's Extreme Z area, which is this one right here, 
uh, you needed these characters. So you need all these characters, Extreme Z Awakened, uh, and LR Goku Black Extreme Z Awakened, which he has his own six characters you need to bring. So I think because like this whole process was so convoluted and like they really made it hard to get this Goku, that is why Frieza was so like insane. That's why they made him so good, because they he was so hard to get. Like, you'd have to do so, so, so much grinding to get this guy. So, I'm really, really hoping that they build Cell in a similar way. That they, you need this Vegeta or some other Prime Battle EZA to get him done. I'm, that That's what I'm hoping for. And if they do that, Cell will be insane. He'll be completely monstrous. Hopefully they build him with the intentions or the knowledge that the Red Zone and Cell Max events exist. Um, it would be amazing if these characters were runnable in there. But yeah, that's a get him done. Get him done just in case. Uh, thank you all so much for watching this video. Please hit the like button and subscribe if you feel like it. I love you all and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.